Hi everyone and welcome back to this Bedrock Survival Guide with me, JCP! Right behind me, as you can see, is the villager breeder that we made last episode. What we're going to be doing today is making this a lot more safe. And my plan to do that is to surround it with a tower, basically something that's fortified, that's safe. We're going to protect them from thunder and lightning. We're going to protect them from zombies and things. So as it's getting dark, let's head over back to the house. We'll take the boat because it's quicker. And you can see at the back of the house here, I have set up a new XP collection furnace, uh, which is very busy smelting lots of cobblestone. It's not been going very long, so we've only got a couple of stacks of stone in there. Let's go sleep before we get bombarded with mobs. And yes, I do realize that it would be a lot easier to just use my silk touch pickaxe and go and collect the stone like that. Uh, but if we smelt this cobblestone, we will get all the XP from it and that will charge up our furnace there. So as this has got probably quite a long time to go before all that's done, and yes, I know I probably won't need all of that stone, but it's good to have it uh, stored up. Um, we'll wait for that to finish and I'll come back to you when we're about to start building. All right, that chest is really starting to empty now and we've got plenty of stone. I'm pretty sure uh, we've caught plenty of stuff there that we can use for building. I've even made up a few other blocks and if I just get rid of some rubbish out of here I'll have to ditch some of that stone uh, but I've also made up some other blocks that I'm going to be using uh, while building this tower. Okie dokie so I did want to do a bit of a time lapse again with this but unfortunately I don't have the means to do that at the moment so we'll go through the steps and uh, just sort of skip ahead from the uh, bulk building bits and just explain what I'm doing as I go along and that way you can do something similar if you feel like it if you like the build and if you want to do something the same the first thing I'm going to do is actually replace this outer fence with the stone brick this fence was just a temporary measure just to keep this villagers safe we didn't want any baby zombies or any zombies really uh, falling down into that hole down there and messing up our breeder and I'm actually going to be bringing these walls up to two blocks high so just to start with I'm going to do this all the way round uh, but leave the fence there so that this is still going to be an entry point this is also going to be great for uh, getting quite a few villagers down there because we're in the area we're loading up these chunks and these guys are going to be breeding and making babies all the time that I'm here I'm also going to need quite a few ladders so if I just get some sticks there let's, uh, let's make a couple of ladders so that we can get up and down this tower because you know what I'm like I keep on forgetting things that I need so I, I'm not going to be able to just build up and that's that's it. I'm going to have to keep coming back up and down as I forget things. So looking at these corners here, I think I'm actually going to get rid of these corner fences and put blocks there and then just get rid of the end ones. And what we're doing here, we're going to make this uh, a circular tower or as circular as you can get in Minecraft. So that's been done on all four corners now and then what we're going to do is just bring this out one by one more block as we face each side if we come across two and this probably isn't the best side to show you because there's the, that gate there so if I show you on this side uh, we're going to come out one more block by counting two across and then one two three four five and then leave two on that end and what that's going to do is create uh, a circular shape and when I've just done this bit I'll get up higher so that we can actually see um, what that looks like from above. And I'm gonna have to be quick because it is raining and I'm quite worried that a thunderstorm is going to start but as you can see there we've got more of a circular shape just by adding those corner diagonals there and then bringing out each side by one more block in the middle we've got a nice circular shape so we must get on with this very quickly the longer I leave it the more chance there is of a thunderstorm and, and turning those four villages into witches so I don't want to go too mad with this but if I come up another five blocks so that will be seven from the base we should get some nice height on here without it looking too stumpy I don't want a stumpy tower 
And what I'm doing is just going around the outside of the build. So you will have these ledges on the inside that we will have to place slabs on to make sure that it is spawn proof. Either that or you can just make sure it's lit up really well, but I prefer to uh, give it a double whammy and uh, put them slabs there too. So we want to just always make sure that it is safe first before we start trying to make it pretty. Now at first this build is going to look a little bit flat and boring because we're basically using the same block all the way around, all the way up. But if we get the main part of it done first, then we can start texturing and taking bits out and adding different bits and what have you. And that way um, you've got your main structure and then you can embellish it afterwards. Okay, okay right, just temporarily, I'm going to pop some torches up here as I need to go and get some bits. And I just don't want anything spawning up here while I'm gone. Torches are important. Light up your builds. It's gonna hurt. Ow! And there's my ladder so I can get back up again. Can I sleep yet? Not quite night yet, no. Okay, so I just, uh, I'm just gonna make sure that there is a roof on here now. So I am gonna put the floor in now to get some slabs. Not sure how many I'll need. Let's go for a couple of stacks to start off with. And coming up to the top here, making sure that it is a bottom slab, so we want to be placing the slabs on the bottom of the block. If we uh, just cover this whole thing, make a solid floor. I don't need to be up here at all, so I'm not going to be making access from the inside. This is literally just to keep the villagers safe from lightning. And it's finally dark, we can get rid of the rain every time. It rains so much on this world. I've gone for wood plank slabs uh, just because it was a lot easier and I'm not using my stone that I'm going to need. Uh, we can replace these or add another floor at the top uh, just as extra protection because if wood is struck by lightning it will set fire. And that's no good because then it gets destroyed and it, that'll just leave a great big hole uh, for lightning to strike villagers. This is where the stone cutter comes in because I'm going to need some stairs. So if I just get a stack for now, to make one stair for one block. And on this layer, I'm going to place stairs all the way around. And this is going to bring the tower in a bit and give it a little bit of shape. On these corners, I'm going to go in above the floor so that we can get that joining of those stairs there. And that way we get a continuous step all the way around the side of this. I'm making sure to crouch. If you're on PC, you will probably have to hold the shift uh, key. Uh, if you are on console, you can just toggle that. That way you're not going to fall off the side while you're building this because that is quite annoying and potentially dangerous just like in real life safety first people then once we've got the stairs all the way on the outside i'm going to place a temporary block and then start with pots of polished andesite just to give this uh, just to break it up a little bit but then when we get to this middle block here i'm actually going to put uh, some chiseled stone there i forgot it's all the way in the chest I need bigger pockets. There we go, chiseled stone in the middle there, just as a bit of an embellishment. I'm not claiming that looks spectacular or anything. Uh, it's just something a bit more interesting than a square tower, all made out of brick. We're going to put this all the way around, just on this one layer. Go around the corners, you might have to place a block on the outside and then break it again, just so that you've got something to place the next block against. Then in this centre one, put that chiselled stone, just to something a little bit different. You know, at the end of the day, this is a villager breeder. I'm not trying to win any build awards. I just want it to not look like a, you know, just a farm smack bang in the middle of the mountains, which it is, I suppose. <laughs> Once we've got that layer of andesite, I'm going to come up another three blocks uh, with the stone brick. This is a lot nicer. I don't have to jump down every time I want to start the next the next one. I can reach. Yay. Then we need to go make some more stairs because I'm going to go in again 
and make the same shape as we did last time and we'll do another layer of andesite and the uh, chiseled stone. So I'll just light this up, go and sleep and I'll come back to you when I've done that. And I've been yakking away to myself again. I forgot to hit record. So let's go back and uh, just take a step back and have a look at this from a distance. We've got two steps using the stairs. And then this last section, we're gonna come up another three blocks with the brick on top of that andesite. And what we had was a gap here where these steps sort of go around and just surround one block. So I've brought the chiseled stone out by one and placed a stair on top. That's just going to give it a little bit more shape. And then we're not going to get as intense of a step here or indent. And once again, it just adds that little bit of embellishment, a little bit of interest and not so square and blocky, which is ironic because this is a game of squares and blocks. Okay, so that's that third section done. It's very possible I might run out of stairs and might run out of bricks, so I'll have to go back. Um, but I'll just show you what I'm gonna do on this section before I go and sleep. I'm going to place a row of upside down stairs on the outside of the last layer that we just did. And we're going to shape the corners once again. So what we'll get is the steps in and then it's gonna come out a little bit at the top before we put the uh, uh, the top of the tower with the crenellations and whatnot um, at the top here. Light this up while I go sleep and I'll be back with you shortly. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's getting a bit dangerous out here. So, oh my gosh, let's go, <laughs> let's, go. let's go back to the house because I need to go back for stone anyway. Ah! And I've done it again, I can't believe it. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to be organised with my recording clips so that it's easier for me to edit afterwards. Um, so I'll just have to show you what I've done. We've come up by three blocks above this andesite. Then on the outside of that top layer, we place upside down stairs. We've got the continuous um, step out this time. Give it that bit of shape. Then on top of those stairs, what we've got is another layer of stone brick. And then on every other block, I've placed a block so that we get the crenellation effect. And we need to top all of these off with slabs. So that way we still get this one block height difference, but the tops of these are slabs, so they're non-spawnable. And then because I've placed slabs everywhere, even here, even here on this ridge that goes around the outside, um, I've had to place torches around here. It's not necessary because the slabs are there and this is spawn proof, uh, but that will give a nice light glow while we're looking at it from a distance. Last thing I'm just gonna do is get some more slabs and fill in this and create a floor. I've got the spruce slabs down there. That's gonna look a little bit nicer for the villagers um, underneath, uh, but the stone slabs are going to protect fully from the lightning and not set on fire. I'm also going to need to just finish this off without falling to my death. So if I place that slab there, then I should be able to connect. Oh, I can't crouch under there, so I'll have to get rid of that. <laughs> it's so complicated. Uh, get rid of that. Go down the ladder a little way, and then I should be able to place that block there, and then another block taking this ladder down anyway won't we so let's take that down and place our upside down stair and uh, take down the ladders as we go and that way we can go safely to the bottom of the tower so there's that we've got the basic shape of it i wonder if i can just get up a little way do some wood to tower up here so we can get a better look at it yeah it's a little bit stumpy it's not quite uh you know tall and uh, epic but I would be pretty happy with that as it is, uh, but it's not looking like uh, it was built into the uh, into the mountain like I want it to look. So we need a few things. We're going to put a entryway um, around the door there. And I think we need to get rid of some of this gravel because uh, gravel is not the uh, sturdiest of building blocks. So it doesn't make sense that we, they would build it here with all this gravel here. So we need to make this look like it's been fortified around and then we also need to get a few different blocks just to texture it. We'll get some mossy brick and some cobblestone 
So I've got a few more things to go and grab and I'll be back to you again. Oh my gosh, one thing I almost forgot was on the inside. We need to get back in here and just light up those parts there. We can put some slabs on there, but just uh, temporarily, I'm just making sure that they've got plenty of torches because that could have been very disastrous. We could have had zombies spawning in here and we don't want that, no. Torches are important. So to start off with, I'm removing a lot of this gravel that is surrounding the tower. What we'll try and get is um, a bit of a shape up here, you know, a bit of a step shape. I just want to get rid of as much of this gravel as possible, but I don't need to go too deep with it because uh, you can place a bit of a wall around to look like it's been built to reinforce the tower. I mean, at the end of the day, this is Minecraft and if you really want to, you can build a tower floating in the sky. But for the look of this, that is the look that I'm going for. I want it to look as if it's been built here. I want it to look as if um, the top of this mountain has been reinforced to support the tower. Um, so that is why I'm doing the terraforming now. And I'm loving that we're getting the cats now. There must be quite a few uh, villagers down at the bottom and most of them will probably have grown up. So I'm going to check on those at some point. I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to create a bit of a staircase. And I think that is going to lead over here as a road. And then we can sort of, you know, zigzag it down the mountain, uh, leading down to the water. And with the terraforming, I don't want too many uh, squares. I don't want. I don't want too many sharp angles. Um, so we're going to sort of create these diagonals as much as we can. And then, as you as you come to a more straight bit of land, the length of these corners here will just sort of stretch out more and more. And in fact, I think I can just get rid of this chunk here, and then we'll build it back up with the staircase, and we'll make it into something that you know is, is a bit more than just a few stone stairs we'll make like a proper grand staircase going through it i want to grab a lot of this dirt as well because i do want to replace a lot of the stone um with dirt and so that we can get some grass up here just to make it a little look a little bit nicer there's just a lot of gray going on and once again that's just my personal taste if you want to have complete stone, you know, everything stone, then go for it. Okay, I think that is enough. Get rid of some more of this and yeah, I'm going to have to go and grab a, a lot of dirt from somewhere to replace this. So I'm removing this, I'm trying to just go with the shape that's already been naturally generated. But it doesn't matter if it ends up being a little bit different, we can just sort of smooth it out a bit. So we're back at the base again, getting ready for the next part of the build. What I want is to get some of these vines which I've been growing. I'm going to collect these using some shears. And we're going to be able to make the mossy variants of cobble and brick. Um, just to texture... Oh no, that was a waste. Uh, just to texture the, ca the castle tower and the, uh, and the wall that's going to be supporting it. Have I got things shooting at me or is that the chicken farm working? I think it's the chicken farm. Eggs being shot out of a dispenser sounds exactly like uh, a skeleton shooting at you. Very confusing and terrifying. So I've just planted these uh, all over this. You know, I've got plenty of space to grow vines here. Also looks kind of cool. So if I can grab as many of these as possible and we can combine them with bricks or cobblestone and get that, get that mossy variant give it a look of age it's going to be fantastic that's great we've got over a stack of those vines so that's brilliant let's sleep and we can carry on another little trick another way of making a build look old we can use some cracked stone bricks so if we put stone bricks into a furnace they will become cracked stone bricks and that way we don't have to rely on finding a stronghold to get cracked stone bricks we can make them ourselves and that just really adds to that aged look, which is what I'm going for for this build. While I'm here, I'm going to grab some more regular stone because we can put some of that in there. That as well is going to add to that. And even just regular andesite as well, that has a bit of a you know weathered texture going on. So there's plenty of different um, textures we can use. 
just to make this build look a lot more interesting. Okay, so I've been removing a bit more of the uh, of the ground round here. All oh, this kitten is giving me cute rage. Um, giving the tower a bit more of a definitive face. And what I imagine is that they would use something like cobblestone as uh, as a bit of a hardcore foundation. But I'm going to break this up a, li a little bit and maybe extend it into the uh, the floor as well. And we're going to make this not all completely cobblestone and not just at the base either. We'll probably bring it up a little bit in some parts. Um, but we're going to bring this wall all the way around uh, the side. I've cut here where I'm going to be making the staircase. And this is where just being completely random with your block placing um, really sort of uh, works. And remembering things like you can add or take away whatever you want. This is Minecraft. It don't have to get it right the first time so I'm also going to just sort of dot in a few oops not there uh, a few of the mossy cobblestones just where I've been leaving these gaps this one I'll probably put as brick will I no I'll put that as a mossy bring the mossy up there out uh, try not to fall off the side of the mountain bring that up there maybe one there 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 Okay, I'm happy with that placement. Then because we're going to be using it quite sparingly, I'm going to put in some of the mossy brick. You can even sort of put this at the bottom, you know, a couple of blocks at the bottom there, one there. And on the next layer, we will probably have a few more of the cracked bricks as these are taking the weight uh, of this wall and the ground that it is holding. So we'll dot those in. But some of them, some, of the top ones may have started to you know break down a bit so we'll pop them in there you know, some of those can be dotted about around the top as well i don't think there's any rules really as to uh, how to do this it again it is just a case of placing the blocks seeing what it looks like if you don't like it change it then i'm just going to fill the rest of that in with the regular uh, stone brick let me place them there and very much sort of going with the shape of the ground that's already there, you know, including this diagonal bit here. As you can see, it just creates this really great unkempt, uh, aged, decayed, crumbling, dirty, unkempt effect. I'm even going to just dot a few of these uh, a little bit further down, just so it blends in. Uh, with the uh, with the side of the mountain there because what they might have done is sort of fill in any any gaps with the hardcore to level it out i'm not sure i i don't know how i don't know how towers are built but that's how i imagine that 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 is what they would do so uh this sort of hardcore this cobblestone here the foundations would bleed into uh, the mountain a little bit that's that's looking pretty cool i'm liking that i'm going to go overboard with it but it does blend in quite nicely and then we can extend this to the other side and there we go we extended it out that way a little bit we've got a staircase going on um last thing i'm just going to show you before uh, i start doing some texturing on here and and basically finish the episode um is just this entryway uh to here if I use some of the polished andesite again, uh, let's come up. In fact, I think I want this to line up with the edge of that wall. Yeah. Again, we'll use some stairs and some slabs just to round things off, which is again a silly word to use in a in a block game. But it really does. We get that little step, and uh, it just rounds it off nicely. I'm very nearly finished. I'm just going to grab uh, a couple of grass blocks using the silk touch there uh, so we can seed some grass up on the uh, the top of the base there. I'm going a little bit mad with the with the texturing here, but uh, I'm actually I'm actually quite loving the process. I've even been to grab some bone meal because then what we can do is just bone meal the grass and that's uh, and that's going to make it look even more unkempt and unloved and uh, neglected oh look we got a dandelion that's lovely there we go so just a bit of texturing at the bottom of the tower there i don't want to go too mental with it not like the 
wall still want to put and maybe replace a lot of this with dirt and uh, have this bit more grassy just get rid of that gravel i'm not liking the way the gravel looks but i'll do that in between episodes and i'll show you how it looks at the beginning of the next episode because guys that is unfortunately all i've got time for for this episode if you did enjoy it if you like what i built there like i said i'm not trying to win any build competitions i'm just trying to make something that looks a bit nicer than uh, you know a farm in the middle of the mountains something that looks like it belongs here but if you did enjoy it make sure you smash that like button and if you're new to the channel hit subscribe and press the bell button for all notifications of future videos come follow me on social media the links are in the description and also there is a link to the new twitch team that i am part of which is don't die too you'll see some big names there'll be some names in there that you recognize people like foxy no tail pixel riffs floy xp and you know many many more there's like 30 of us there's 30 of us all playing on a hardcore world we've got one life we've got one month one life if we die that's it we're out so come and check that out but until the next episode guys i will see you then thanks for watching